Yo, what's up guys, it's Garrison here and welcome back to the channel. So today, coming straight back from my haircut, I am here to check out a teases Halloween performance video of the Black Cat Nero. Now, I am extremely, extremely, extremely excited to check this out today as I saw the teaser video prior today for this on social media and I'm like, what? They are coming out with a Halloween performance video? I'm like, there's no way I don't check this out, guys. Especially with you guys. I remember back in September when I checked out their performance of it on Immortal Songs 2. And I freaked out. I was absolutely shocked of how much switch-ups happened in the song. And Jonglo's high notes and all. Other than that, let's just cut to the chase. Let's just get into it, shall we? All right, ATEEZ's Halloween performance video of the Black Cat Nero. Let's go. KQ intro. Love to see it. Oh, they got this cathedral set up for this. Or was filmed in a cathedral. Black cat. Look at them. Okay, so far it's hitting a bit different from their Immortal Songs 2 performance of it. The Howl. Hongjun. <laughs> I'm really loving their style in though their outfits and San kept his joker <laughs> get up La la Mingi kept the shades in this one. Oh, all these scenes are very bold and intimidating. Oh here we go with the the break. The dance break. Put my boy in. Yes, Mingi. Man, I just loving this so, so much more. Just due to the fact that. I could hear the instruments in this more in full. Oh, I love the choreo. Let me hear the boys hit him up to Tinny. Put him up, your hands to you ready. Yes, tell him. I'm ready. Nero. Man, the slide of the guitar there, too. Oh, 
<laughs> they brought in Kim Jong Kook. Woo, Chaho, let's go. And they all turned to black cats and then there. Hey man, I'm just saying I'm supporting the right group. Like AT just knows how to throw on a performance as as always. Okay? <laughs> what I love about ATs, whether it's a more light track or very dark in concept song that that they perform they're always oozing with so so much swag like they are so cool when they perform and i i really envy them for that but there's a reason why they can do that you know just their skill set and the way they really project themselves throughout many of their songs and their covers and their performance videos and of course at the start i said this this is hitting a bit different than the immortal songs too but then as it progressed more and more i'm like this hits way different than the immortal songs 2 performance of course obviously because the instrumental is more fuller and you could hear more of the instruments being utilized in this song in their performance like their rendition of the original song the black hat narrow by turbo of obviously really love the cameo what a nice surprise to see kim jong-gook come out as the the center member of, <laughs> in there and just like just like he's just here man he's just huge and he's all up in our face in this performance video just repping <laughs> everything and the styling of course was great um and i i the fact that i can't just can't get enough how my whole point is just hearing the instrumental fuller um just the studio uh, recorded vocals and all is just so good and i'm gonna be playing this over and over again this performance video i mean we got fed today by a tease and i think i'm gonna say this again i i feel like we uh, would love or we would love or most of us would love more rock songs by 80s in the future i mean it doesn't necessarily have to be a title track as that could really throw off what they're trying to do right now but Rock ATs is so amazing, guys. Hearing the electric guitar, the slides, the riffs, and he also hearing the organ in this, you know, they really kept the Renaissance esque theme going on from Immortal Songs 2, brought in here with a cathedral, and hearing all the sounds really come and be fuller and tone and everything. It's just so good, so good. Anyways, guys. Let me know how you felt about their Halloween performance of the Black Hat Nero. And let me know how you felt about Kim Jong-Kook's cameo in this one. I am just over the moon seeing him in this. You know, it's the just the inner action. And not just from Immortal Songs 2 coming it in to here as well. But be sure to like, share, and maybe subscribe if you really, really enjoyed this, guys. It helps out the channel so, so much. And it just warms my heart to be able to really connect with you guys in the comment section down below. Whether it's about 80s or whether it's about Kim Jong-Gook or whether it's about anything else that is K-pop related or etc. This has been Garrison, though. Have a great day. Have a good night. Have a good afternoon wherever you are. And I can't reiterate this enough throughout most of my videos. Be sure to educate yourselves of what is truly saddening and what's going on in the world right now. If you have not yet, be sure to. And peace. Just keep it up.